Today we're taking a look at the future of the fire pit. This is the Warm Bond Bond Stove and Fire Pit. Let's check it out. All right, folks, welcome back. So I wanted to show you this. Um, I wanted to get this up and show you because this is on a Kickstarter right now. And I think it's a pretty innovative idea. And price-wise, compared to its competitors, it's way less expensive, especially if you get in on the early bird deal on the uh, club. And I will give you all those links down below so you can check them all out. Really, really innovative and handy little thing here. Basically, what it is is a fire pit that can double as a stove. It's also smokeless. That's another neat thing, too. If you ever sat around a campfire you know how annoying it is wherever you sit the smoke kind of follows you around the pit so this is also smokeless it kind of operates in the same style as a wood gasifier would we built bunches of those on the channel and it kind of does the same same thing same idea so let me give you a little description about it it's got a dual air system that provides not only warmth warmth but no smoke it's comfortable to sit around like we said you don't have to worry about teary eyes you don't have to worry about getting your clothes full of smoke smell uh, basically what you're going to do is load it up with wood light it and let it go now it does come with some features and some expansion kits and different packs so we will get into those in a sec but I want to explain to you how simple this is to put together so what I'm going to do is tip it on its side and show you how you put this together when you receive it all right so what you see on the bottom here is not how you're going to get it these are going to be off these are the legs the feet and this piece is going to be your little protector and your airflow um, regulator underneath there what you're going to do is screw this in first okay it comes with all the screws it'll even come with the right adapters to put in there you're going to screw it with four little allen screws all the way around once that's in you're just going to hand screw these in there's a big screw on the bottom goes right in the hole there fits right where it belongs the neat part about this is, is it also comes with an expansion if you want to make this mobile now i opted for this because i'm going to put this in my backyard and that's where it's going to live if you want to make this mobile let me show you this for a second here it comes with wheels and all the appropriate hardware to put the wheels on so you can just screw these onto the bottom and this can be mobile and with the roller pack that it gives you gives you a little case for it you can actually pull this behind you if you're out camping somewhere or something like that so you always have the option to take these off you're just going to hand unscrew them and screw in the wheels i'm going to be putting this in a permanent location so i didn't put those on but that's as simple as you're going to do it you've got the four bottom screws to put this piece of metal on that will get your airflow in there and then your four feet and that's it let me show you what you do on the inside all right so what you got here is the inside of it you will see that once you're assembled and ready to go this is what it's going to look like these are your air vents on the bottom okay and you can see all those holes set up for the wheels if you want to use them so the first thing you're going to do is put in your ash pan very very simple it'll look like this okay hard to mess it up the handles should be facing upward you're just going to lay that in there lay it down inside and there you go that will capture all the ash but still allow airflow from the bottom next up i'm going to put your air vent again very simple all this stuff is facing upward so you'll just place it in there i tried to overthink it when i got it and said wait a minute now you sure it goes in this way and not the other way <laughs> i had to watch a few videos to realize that the indentation is down here so basically what you're going to do is light your fire in here and then put your lid on now there is another expansion pack for this and it is a glass ring that goes around the outside here it's a quartz glass ring that will allow to you to kind of have a nice look at it while it's burning as a fire pit it's the same glass that they use in aircraft it does come with two uh, little tongs and there's holes in the glass so you can actually pick the glass up with the tongs and not burn yourself not have to pick it off the top um, you can also use the stove kit with the glass ring you can put the stove cap on top what i want to show you next is what we're going to actually be using today in this test and that is the stove the, the uh, grill kit and i'm going to put all that out here for you and show you what that comes with all right so i want to show you the grill kit because that's what we're going to be using today the first thing that comes with this is kind of neat are the fire starters and these are little jute twine rope rings let me show you them down in here okay i'll tell you what to do with them basically you're going to light the paper at the bottom of this ring and place it right in the center of your fire pit right where that indentation is you're just going to place it in there and we are going to use one of these today to show you how they work i want to demo them 
So basically that's all they are, just little jute fire, jute twine uh, fire rings. Makes starting the fire a whole lot easier. Those of us that have had some experience with fire starters, you know, we probably won't need these, but they do make it a little bit handier. So that's what we're going to put up over here, and we're going to use that to start the fire today. Next up is the grill. That grill fits perfectly on the top of your fire pit. Nice cast iron grill. You want to want the flat side up because it fits right in there just like that. So that's the grill. Now if you notice there's a little hole on the side of the uh, pit itself and we'll demo this and that's where this will go. This sits in here. We'll give you the proper temperatures for whatever you're grilling. We're just going to be grilling some uh, sausages and make it on the side a little bit of mashed potatoes. So we're not going to be needing to grill things precisely but it does give you an idea of the temperature inside there. You just sit it inside your ring on the top there okay next up this is to remove the grill you'll put that in there and be able to pull up the grill with it next up you're going to get a kit here with all of your grilling accessories tongs and everything we're going to be using that in the video today too and lastly a lid so that's going to go over the top if you need to keep it over the top and keep your heat inside again all you're going to need to do to assemble this simply screw in the center like that and that's it you will get a glove let me show you the glove here. Really nice glove for your right hand. Keeps your hand from getting burned while you're grilling on there. I'm not sure how much heat's coming off this. I assume a lot since it's a fire pit. So we're going to start it up. But I did want to show you it does come with a cover. Okay. And this cover's kind of got wood choppings all over it because I was chopping up some wood for it. There you go. Okay. That will cover the unit. Once it's cool, you can put this over the top. And we will be using this. I want to see how well this holds up to the... Uh, Nevada heat and of course a mobile case. I'm gonna put that on the bottom. You've got straps and you can carry it with either strap in your hand. Very, very easy to use, very, very simple. So I think more importantly we want to demo this thing cooking and how much heat it puts off so we won't be putting that on there. So let's get started, starting up a fire inside and see how well this thing works. So I tossed some shavings in the center there. That's going to be uh, left over from batoning wood and stuff. Didn't want to leave it on my driveway. Might as well use it. I'm going to light one of these up and see just how well they work. Got it lit up. I'm just going to let that kind of burn a little bit. We'll put it down in here for a little bit of a wind break because it is windy today. There we go basically when you're done you're just going to stick that in the center i've got some kindling on the other side so i'm going to place this down in here get the kindling and get this fire rolling all right so we got that going really well and drop in some wooden down there just some small pieces to get it started and once that's going we'll bring you back and put in the larger pieces of wood this can take up quite a bit of quite a bit of wood in here so i'm not really worried about what i got Let's throw this stuff in here. There you go. So once this gets going, we'll put in the bigger pieces. Then I'll let you see what it looks like as a fire pit. Then we'll put the grill on and start cooking some food. Almost ready for the larger pieces of wood. I'm gonna let that go a little bit longer and uh, you see how well that wor is working. There is a little bit of smoke because some of this wood is kinda a little bit damp on the bottom of there. But uh, all in all, for as much wood as I threw on top of that little fire ring, that really got it going quick and I can feel the warmth standing over here. I'm going to move the camera back a little bit too. But you can definitely feel the warmth coming off this thing and it isn't a warm day out here in Nevada yet. So we'll see how we go. So let's back it up a little bit, put in the big pieces of wood, let it kind of get down to a bed of coals and we'll start cooking on it. Now one thing I did want to mention is if you do want to move this grill, let's say put more wood in like I just did, you're just going to put this underneath like that. Let's get it in there. I'm trying to do this with my opposite hand there there we go and you see how easily that piece comes on and off so I think we got the grill up to temperature I'm gonna put my sausages on here okay these guys right here just gonna cut them open and put them right on there try to keep them away from the center because it's gonna be really hot but uh, yeah looks like this is gonna work out quite well let's toss a couple of these on here and get them going. So we got these going on here. They do have cheese in them, so they'll smoke a little bit. Got our water going for our uh, potatoes. I'm going to toss in the instant potatoes. These look about done, honestly. But got a little bit of a 
coal going on the bottom. It's very, very hot, by the way. And the water, as you can see, is boiling. I don't know if you can see it on camera. But I do apologize for the neighbor running a uh, pressure washer at the time. Just cut up these instant potatoes. Toss them in there. And we'll mix them up. Get that all mixed up in there. I can take that off and mix it up. I'm going to take off the sausages because I know they're done. Here we go. There we go. You can see how quickly all that grilled up. There we go. You're all set with sausages now. So, that's it. Now, while I'm out here eating my, my lunch, I can sit here and have a nice uh, fire pit going. So I'm gonna take off that grill and put it to the side and let the fire pit burn out. Put it over here. There we go. Just toss that over to the side and let the grate off, let the fire pit go. We are starting to get a little gasification around the outside there on those pits, on those edges there, the holes on top. So definitely a neat little system, I'm really liking it. Uh, we're going to let this kind of burn down and burn out. One thing you will get is a really complete burn with this type of a stove. So all you'll have left at the end is ash. So what I'm going to do is eat my lunch and bring you back once this is pretty much close to being out. And we'll finish up the video. Just wanted to give you a little look inside there. I mean, we had a lot of wood in there. And as you can tell, it's all almost ash already. Nice uh, bunch of coals down there at the bottom. I'm sure you could cook on that for a good long while. But that's what it looks like. So, let's finish up and I'll bring you back. All right, so before we finished up, I wanted to show you what was left of all the wood we put in there. As you can tell, it's almost all ash. Still hovering around 300 degrees. You'd probably still grow on it if you wanted to. Definitely a very efficient stove. Burned up really nicely. Um, I probably should have waited a little bit to put the hot dogs on. But uh, they came out good. The sausages, they came out really good. And you see how easy it is to boil water on it. That was a piece of cake. So let's finish up the video. I'll give you some final info on it. And I'll tell you where you can pick one up. All right, so that's the kit as we have it. And you're wondering why I'm putting the box out here that it came in well. The box is also made from sustainable materials and you can reuse it as a holder for your wood. It has little twine stripes on it, straps on either side so you can carry your wood around in that box right there. So the price on this, if you get in on the early, um, the, the early bird, it's $249. Now that is way cheaper than some of its competitors, should we say, uh, and more multifunctional. It's not just a fire pit. Also with the 20 inch square circumference around that you have a little bit easier placement of it you can put it in corners you can put it away somewhere when we put the cover on it i can put it away outside this is going to live in my backyard i'm going to try the cover on it for a little while and see how long that holds up um, not really if it, if it failed it wouldn't be the fault of the product this nevada sun out here pretty much kills everything so i wouldn't be too upset about it but um it is a neat little system and very well thought out and it's kind of like a gigantic rocket stove so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give you a link down below to the actual website the warm bond website the warm bond kickstarter page if you want to pledge and they've already reached their goal so they're doing fine and the warm bond club facebook group as well you can get all the updates on when this stuff starts shipping when it starts coming out on that facebook group so make sure you join up there if you're not a member of facebook you can still just check it out but you do have the kickstarter and the main page as well so definitely check out the early bird discounts i'm really impressed with this thing i will put a link down below to all the sites that you need for it don't forget to check out all our other links we have our freeze dried wholesaler link down there i have a food video coming up from them very soon we got something we're going to try to make with the freeze dried food going to be really cool so definitely check them out my link will save you 15 percent on all of your orders anything you order from them save 15 percent at checkout um he is he sent out a newsletter today so he is expanding He's definitely getting back to normal. Kind of explains what happened with the big, huge wave of all the people on social media promoting it, along with myself. And you guys just went nuts and bought everything. <laughs> so that's good. I'm glad to see people getting prepared. But things are coming back in stock now. So definitely check them out. Our Amazon affiliate store down below. If you're interested in picking up something from the store, that's cool. If not, just click the link and shop as you normally would. That would be very appreciated. Our Thrive Life freeze-dried food store also. Definitely check them out. Really good, healthy, delicious food and lastly 
our My Patriot Supply link, where you're going to get a three month kit, $200 off that three month kit, plus $200 of free survival gear with your three months worth of food. Anyway, folks, I thank you for coming along with me today. Definitely had a good lunch out of this. Stay safe and stay prepared.